Right, hello, welcome to the 2023 season. So we are here at a grass field yet again. Uh, we're at Tallington today, so um, I'm out on the 500, which I'll show you in a minute, and Stuart, uh, Roy's son, is having his first meeting on a 250. So he's riding my bike with Roy's engine in. So um, yeah, everyone's getting warmed up. So, um, so yeah, there's a grass field. They ran on it yesterday, so they had the GT140 best pairs plus some other classes as well. So you can see it's uh, kind of been ran in as such. So uh, yeah, we're going to go out and practice in a minute and uh, see how it goes. But as usual, let you know how practice goes and the racing as well. Speak to you soon. All right, so here's the bikes. Um, here's the 250, so uh, same frame etc as last year that had the 140 in. So we've got the uh, 250 Jower in it now with a golden gearbox. So uh, got a new front damper on it and um, have some new bands and some other little bits and bobs, but pretty much the same bike. And then uh, here's the uh, Godden 500. So uh, it's got a new shock on the back, a um, couple of other little bits and bobs, but fundamentally the same bike as last year. So go and get them warmed up and then get out for practice. Right, um, managed to get out for two practice sessions, which is cool. And you may notice I have, ta-da, some new clothing. So um, Dave Mears, uh, I'll put a post out on Grass Track Banter and um, Dave Mears, his partner, got in touch and said he's got some Kevlar, so we've just done a deal and I look like a proper grass tracker now, so no excuses. Um, so yeah, bikes are running well. Um, Roy and Francis here, which is great, so good to have them with us. Um, Stu had a good practice session, but the bike was not revving out. So just done a few carburetor changes and a couple of little tweaks to the bike, and then he'll be good to go. But the 500 was running well, so um, yeah, I'll let you know how heat one goes.
So, um, yeah, then I think I finished Second sixth. Third, so I had, um, Will was right. ahead of me, so I couldn't quite get, um, get in touch with him. So, um, so, yeah, that, so that was, yeah, six was all right. Um, just had my second race, um, so just coming from that one. And it's getting really dusty and really bumpy, and they're trying to roll it and get it kind of flatter, but um, it's still pretty hard going. So, um, yeah, got uh, some big bumps and stuff. I think I finished seventh or eighth, and that was one from last place in that second race. So dusty, I couldn't see a bloody thing. So, um, I've got dust in my ears, dust in my eyes, dust everywhere. So, anyway, we'll um, have another go. So, hopefully, we want to improve on the last one. That's pretty shy, to be fair. So, uh, we shall see. But I'm not sure if there's um, heats or and a final or just four heats today. It's done on points, so I'm not too sure. But we shall see. Anyway, I'll catch you after race three. Richard has got the third. We've lost number four to Jay Green for a hold of the third place Richard. He's pulled off the track of that top corner, David Knowles moves in. The length of the straight clear the front end. Great was still on top that second place. Richard has dropped the third. Knowles looks behind him. Big lead as he starts for that number four then. Great's on wide and Richard has gone through on the inside of his group. In the second place, can Greg get back at Richard on that fifth corner on arc number four? Knowles the length of the straight clear the front end. Richard is in second. Greg is in third and trying to close the up on the second place rider so David Knowles picks up his first winning rider of the afternoon good race going off the second it's Richard who gets second Greg is in third 339 comes across the line in Pop Shade 9 in four followed by 65 Stuart Bridges hey, the top five in race number nice. 29 
Chasing um, Wayne Broader, so he's pretty decent, so I'm uh, fairly happy with that one. So, um, yeah, I don't think I made the finals today. There's a lot of good riders here. There's six, you know, sort of British Championship level riders here, so uh, there's 12 in the lineup, so it'd be real touch and go if I've done it or not. Um, Stuart had a good last race, I think he finished uh, fifth place as well, so he had a cracking last race. So, again, we're just going to wait and see if he's made the finals. He stands a better chance than me, so we'll uh, keep our fingers crossed and uh, see what happens. And uh, if we're at the finals, I'll let you know. Well, good news, we've just made the final, both of us. So Stu's qualified ninth and I qualified about ninth or tenth, I think. So that's a right result. I was, well, I'm bloody surprised about that. But anyway, all good stuff. Um, going to go and get kitted up and go and send it in the final, see what happens. Accidents in the 250s. Um, unfortunately, uh, Kev Willem got involved in one of, one of our GT140 riders, so he's concussed and sat in an ambulance, which isn't good. Um, another chap fell off in the 250s, um, and then um, Charlie Wood as well had a coming together. So, um, so yeah, unfortunately, there's not enough ambulance covering. I've had to call it there. So, I qualified ninth in the 500s, and Stuart was ninth as well. So, overall, a pretty good day. So, um, thanks for watching. And thanks as ever to um, the Bridges family for the help and support and uh, we'll see you in the next one.